Hi everyone, it's Sue from Hold On and Enjoy the Ride. And I received a package from Amazon today and I thought I'd show it to you. So let's open it up. Okay. So, I have two things here. Now, my cat is deciding to come around. Go ahead, Molly. Either say hello to the people or move along. Anyway, this this is nothing to do with crafting. I ordered it for my cats to help get the pet hair off of our furniture and the bedding. My one calico sleeps with my oldest son and the sheets are always full of hair. You know, the lint roller doesn't work that great. He puts down a, a towel over the area where she sleeps to try to make it not so bad. If any of you have this, let me know how you like it. And if there's something that you found is better, please feel free to let me know in the comments. So anyway, there's that real quick. The real reason I wanted to share everything is the HP Sprocket. It instantly prints two by three inch photos from your smartphone. This is gonna be perfect for scrapbooking, for memory keeping, for putting pictures on your planner layouts if you want, for anything, just to put a picture on the refrigerator or keep it in your purse, whatever. The possibilities are endless, but I just been researching different models of this and I was it was between the HP Sprocket and the Polaroid um, version. Those are the two that I found to be the ones that were of most interest to me. And here is Molly. And there goes Molly. These two had the pictures so that they were pictures all the way to the end. A lot of the other excuse me, let me oh meow, yeah. Let's get out of the picture. A lot of the other ones that I was looking at, they had a white um, area around the picture on all the sides. And I thought, eh, that's more that we have to trim off for scrapbooking or memory keeping. So I really liked the picture all the way to the edge. So that was one of the main reasons that I liked this one. But I went online and I Googled articles on what were the best ones to choose from. And these always rated pretty high. And then I went online and I looked through all the reviews and I read tons of reviews and people seem to love it. So anyway, let's see what it's like. As you see, it's pretty small. So it's not going to take up a lot of space and comes with the cord and it has the zinc zero ink. So it comes with 10 photo sheets. I ordered an additional 50, but they didn't come today. I think they're going to be arriving tomorrow. So I have 10 that I could try it out with and see how it is. Okay, so I'm back. It's the next day. I'm going to continue the video. Um, I needed some time to plug it in and get it charged up. So now that I have, I could continue on with how the printer gets set up and how I print the pictures and what I think of them. So first of all, what you'll do when you open it up is you're going to charge it with the cord that it comes with and get it to a full charge. While that is starting to charge you'll need to upload the app onto your phone create a little account only takes a minute get everything set up that way then the other thing that you could do while you're waiting for it to charge is you take off the lid and you insert the paper so you put the paper with the hp and the writing down glossy side of the paper up and you just put the lid back on. So that's all it takes to put the paper in the printer. It's pretty easy. So after it's charged and you have your app set up, then you'll want to make sure you have your Bluetooth turned on. 
and the app will walk you through what to do. It's very quick, it's very easy. I could not believe how easy it was. I did it all by myself without even having to ask my son for any help or assistance, which is extremely rare. So anyway, anyone could do it if I was able to do it. The photo paper that you use is the HP Sprocket 2x3 photo paper. I paid $24.99 for the 50 sheets, so it works out to 50 cents a, a picture. Not exactly cheap. However, this prints out the 2 by 3 inch size that I want, which is perfect for your planner, your memory keeping, your scrapbooks. And it also comes already with the sticker backing. So you just peel and stick it down on your page. So if you think about that, you're saving the cost of an adhesive that you would purchase if you were using this strictly for some type of craft like scrapbooking. So I don't think it's that bad of a deal. I have the size that I want. I don't have to crop a picture down. It's a, it's a matter of convenience. I appreciate the ease of having it the right size that I need, the sticker on the back, and printing it right from my phone onto the printer in a matter of a minute. So I'm sure you could probably get this cheaper maybe at Walgreens or CVS, because they always have those really good deals where you get cheap prints. You just have to weigh out what you want, what is most important to you, and what you have time for. So I just thought I'd show you the pack of the paper. So what I did is I took some pictures from my phone and I just printed them. I just pulled it up on the app, and I hit print. And when I did, this is the way it came out. I was not too thrilled with the way it looked. It was very dark, and I don't know if you could tell, but it just looks like dark lines like up there. And I just didn't like the overall picture because it's not at all the look of the actual picture that I took with my phone. So I decided to play around with the edit feature a little bit, and very quickly I came up with this. Again, it's still not exact match of what is on my phone. However, it's not bad at all. And nobody else would know that it's different from what's on my phone. I think most people would think that's a nice picture. But, you know, I know what the real picture looks like. But I think it's just fine. I think it'll work just fine for the what I'm using it for. And I think it still looks good. So I thought I would try a couple of different samples with different types of pictures. I used this one because it had a lot of gorgeous oranges and yellows and it was very vibrant. So I wanted to see how that would turn out. Then I did the same setup with this picture. And this picture, again, it had a darker hue to it than I'd like or than what it actually had. So I lightened it up a little bit in the edit feature. And I'm sure if I spend some more time with the edit, I'm sure I'll get better with it. But I don't think it looks that bad and it's better than it is here. So this is another example of the way that the picture turned out when you use the edit and lighten the picture up a little bit. Then I decided I needed to try it with a totally different thing with like not a scenery. So I've decided to use a picture of my cat. This is the cat that was walking through the filming earlier when I was trying to film. Her name's Molly. I'm trying to organize my new craft studio. So I have a whole bunch of organizers lined up on the countertop and she decided she was gonna get up and get herself into an organizer. She was gonna organize herself and she did. You know, cats, they, they have that mentality. If I fits, I sits and that's what she did. But this one was darker. It just looked darker, shadowy like, and this one looks much clearer. However, the wall is actually closer to this color than this color. So the color isn't exactly true to what it is, but I think this picture looks better, crisper and cleaner than this one. So tell me in the comments what you think. Do you think that this is a better picture than this? Do you have one of these printers? And if so, how does your pictures turn out?
Do you have a HP sprocket or do you have a different name brand that um, might do pictures better? From what I was reading in a lot of the reviews, every printer that I looked at, there were reviews stating that the pictures don't come out exactly like the picture that you have on your phone. That the picture in your phone is always brighter and crisper and looks better than what prints out. I believe that to be true from what I have seen here. However, I mean, you know, this is a very small printer. You know, it's my hand is bigger. I think it's doing a very good job for what it is. I paid $79.99 for the printer and $24.99 for the 50 sheets, like I said. So, I mean, for the value of what you paid, I think you're getting very good pictures. I think they're very good pictures. And I think if you didn't see the picture any other way, I think that you would think that they're very good pictures. Now, maybe not to a professional photographer. I'm sure they see all kinds of problems with this and I probably didn't edit them to the best of my ability. But like I said, that's something I'm gonna work on. But I just wanted to give a little review, show you what I got and let you know how I liked it. And I wanted to let you know that it's very easy to use. It's not complicated to set up. It really couldn't have been easier. So if this is something that you're in the market for, that you want for your planner or for memory keeping or scrapbooking, it's definitely something that is going to be very handy for me and that I'm going to enjoy having. But like I said, if you have one of these or a different name brand, please tell me in the comments. Let me know how you like yours, how your pictures turn out, and if you have tips and tricks on the editing to get the color to be closest to what is on the phone. I would appreciate that. So anyway, I just thought I'd share, and I hope you guys have a great day. Till next time, bye.